I am a traveller. A fugitive. The world is an implacable hell for fugitives. I am writing this to leave a record. I have the uncomfortable sensation that this journal is changed, changing into a will. When one is alone, it is impossible to be dead. I am in a bad state of mind. It seems that for a long time I have known that everything I do is wrong. And yet I keep, and yet I, uh, and yet I, ha I have kept on the same way, stupidly, obviously. But I know many people who use devices to capture the magic of the past. I watch them unwaveringly, constantly, with the eyes of a man who has been condemned to death. The sound of their very loud phonograph seems now to be permanently superimposed on the wind and the sea. Perhaps watching them is a dangerous pastime. There is always the danger that they may see me watching them. Today, on this island, a miracle happened. I've now discovered her name is Faustine. I love Faustine. She's the reason for everything. I am afraid that she loves another man. My mission is to prove that she does not. Today, Valstein was trying to show me her indifference, and she succeeded. But why is she so cruel? Could she be in love with Morel? He keeps following her around with that strange camera. Soon afterwards, I saw Faustine in a dream. I don't believe that a dream should necessarily be taken for reality or reality for madness. Now I understand why novelists write about ghosts. The dead remain in the midst of the living. To be on an island inhabited by artificial ghosts was one of the most unbearable of nightmares. To be in love with one of those images was worse than being in love with a ghost. Perhaps we always want the person we love to have the existence of a ghost. This is what I dreamt last night. I was in an insane asylum. After a long consultation with the doctor, my family had taken me there. Morel was the director of the asylum. Sometimes I knew it was on the island. Sometimes I thought I was in the asylum. Sometimes I was the director of... When I returned to the mansion, it was almost dark. I felt nervous. I wanted the brightness of the electric light. When a man awakes or dies, he is slow to free himself from the terrors of the dream, from the worries, and from the manias of life. Now it seems that the real situation is not the one I described on the foregoing pages. The situation I am living is not what I think it is. I think I must be in hell or the heaven of those dead people. So I was dead. The thought delighted me. I felt proud, I felt as if I were a character in a film. 
I've scarcely felt the progression of my death. It began in the tissues of my left hand. It had advanced gently, and yet it is so gradual, so continuous, that I do not notice it. I am losing my sight. My sense of touch is gone. My sensations are ambiguous, painful. I try not to think about them. I can still see my image moving about with Faustine. I have almost forgotten that I was added later. Anyone would surely believe we were in love and completely dependent on each other. <laughs>